joining me now is the executive editor of the Animals Desk at National Geographic, Rachel Bale, who recently wrote an article titled How Traffic Cheetah Cubs Move from the Wild into Your Instagram Feed. Definitely catches your attention. Rachel, thanks so much for coming on the show tonight. Thanks for having me. So you've been reporting on wildlife crime and exploitation for the last six years, and you have a new investigation out exposing one of the largest smuggling routes for cheetah traffickers in the world. Tell us a little bit about your report and what you discovered. Yeah, so cheetah cubs are in demand in the Persian Gulf, where they're bought as pets for the wealthy. And cheetahs don't really breed well in captivity. There's no commercial trade in them by law. And so if you want a pet cheetah, it's got to come from the wild. So what we discovered was this um, network from the Horn of Africa that brings cheetahs out of Africa and over to Yemen, where they are distributed to buyers all across the Gulf. Well, we know from your report that the cheetah trade is concentrated in the Horn of Africa. Where are these cheetahs going once they're taken? And are there any laws in place to prevent this kind of illegal trade? Yeah, the cheetahs are taken, mostly they seem to go out of Somaliland and over to Yemen because it's only a couple of hours by boat between the two. And then from Yemen, they're sold to Saudi Arabia, the United, em uh, United Arab Emirates and other countries like that. The, there definitely are, there's an international treaty called CITES that makes it illegal or against international law to do this kind of transportation and trade. But, you know, it's, it's a very difficult thing to enforce and clearly the trade is still happening. So most of our viewers right now might be surprised to hear this statistic. There are only about 7,000 adult cheetahs in the world, and they are currently listed as vulnerable by the International Union of Conservation of Nature. If something doesn't change here, are cheetahs in danger of being wiped out completely? Absolutely, because this is not the only threat cheetahs face. Cheetahs are also threatened by habitat loss, habitat fragmentation, conflict with humans, and Although the black, the black market, we don't really know how many cheetah cubs are being taken out of the wild each year. Some estimates put it as high as a couple hundred. So if you think about it, there's only 7,000 adult cheetahs left in the wild. If you have a couple of hundred cubs being taken each year, on top of all of the other threats that cheetahs face, that's a serious problem. Yeah, it seems like an urgent threat. There seems to be a fascination with these cheetah cubs, specifically as we're scrolling through our Instagram feeds and possibly liking these photos on other social media platforms. Why should people who aren't thinking about this, who didn't dive into it like you did, why should people care about what's going on there? Yeah, look, so nobody's going to deny cheetah cubs are cute. They are, in my opinion, some of the cutest big cat cubs there are. Um, and that's part of why they're in demand. But this desire to have them as sort of a status symbol to show off on Instagram is what's driving the illegal trade. So each time somebody likes a photo of somebody with their pet cheetah, you know, maybe the cheetah's in front of a fancy car or on a boat or sitting with somebody's, you know, pet lion and tiger as well. Every time you like or share a photo like that, you're opening it up to a larger audience and that in turn increases demand even more for cheetah cubs. So what people need to do, what we're asking people to do is to think just a little bit, think before they like those types of photos and spread them to a larger audience. Yeah, I mean, I have to be honest, I've seen pictures like that and never gave a thought to uh, how they get there, where they come from. So this is, this is really good uh, information. There has been more talk since the show Tiger King about using big cats for entertainment. Cheetah cubs, as you point out, are adorable, but not meant to be pets. Tell us a little bit about the why we should think before you like social media campaign. And actually, what's the goal there? You alluded to it, but what are you trying to get mm -hmm. done? Yeah, absolutely. So when it comes to wildlife crime, there's not a lot your average person can do to help stop it. It's in large part an issue of law enforcement, political will, international cooperation, things like that. But one thing everybody can do is help not spread demand. When we see photos of people you know, when we see photos of our friends or influencers or anybody on Instagram, TikTok, wherever, and they are cuddling with a tiger cub or they're, you know, posing with a cheetah, it looks fun. It's exotic and it's exciting and the animals are cute. We want to do that. But 
Those are the types of activities that drive the illegal trade. So if you don't like and don't share those photos, you help prevent them from spreading to a bigger audience, which in turn helps prevent demand to prevent trafficking. Think before you like. It's a good message, especially here. Rachel Bale, thank you so much. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.